Vaughn. Mike. Becca. Carrie. Katie. Score 17 to 14. The Gators need a touchdown to seal the deal. Tebow drops back for the pass. Catch by David Nelson. Touchdown, Gators! Woo! And they win their third national title. Now let me tell you how you got there. With a little brief history of the University of Florida football program. Programs, in order to do that, I'm sorry, in order to do that, I'm going to tell you about the start of the program, a little bit about the games, the historic games, coaches, and players, and where the program is at today. So, if you'd like to sit back, relax, and enjoy this presentation of the University of Florida football program. According to SEC Sports Fan page, the program started in 1906 under coach James Force with three winning seasons. They had established the colors of blue and orange as their, their uh, university colors by the com combination of University of Florida at Lake City, which is blue and gold, and East Florida Seminary at Gainesville, which was orange and purple. Those two combined to make the blue and orange. The mascot you might want to know about started in 1911 accidentally when merchandise was sold by the program uh, around the campus. And the gator was on there on the, on the flag and it just stuck. Now, from 1907 to 1970, they actually had a live 12-foot gator as a mascot. Now they have two mascots that roam, costume mascots that roam the sidelines named Albert and Alberta. Outside the stadium, they have uh, the same mascots as a statue, and I'm here picture with them on a recent visit. Speaking of the stadium, it was built in 1930 as Florida Field, renamed Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in 1989 after a college beneficiary, and nicknamed the Swamp in 1990 by Coach Steve Spurrier. When the field was built, it could seat about 21,000, and now it can seat a little over 90,000, which is the largest in the state of Florida. From 1971 to 1989, the field was artificial turf, and from 1990 to today, it is regular grass. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the start of the program, some historic facts about the start of the program. Now we're going to go on to some players and coaches that made the program great. The program started to really build momentum in 1960 under Coach Ray Graves with 70 straight wins. And this included uh, the player Steve Spurrier, which uh, was a very famous player. 1965, according to SEC Sports fan page, he set six Sugar Bowl records. During that game, it was named the MVP, despite losing the game, which is the first time that's ever happened in collegiate football history. Uh, the following year, in 1966, he turned around and won the Heisman Trophy. And that was as a quarterback, but he also spent time as a punter and kicker. And he actually kicked a 40-yard field goal in uh, the game against Auburn to win the game and probably seal the deal as a Heisman Trophy winner. Also in the 1960s, you might be wondering why you have a Gatorade in front of you. Um, the university noticed that their players and coaches were getting a little thirsty. So their the, uh, researchers developed Gatorade, and it was invented by the university for the players and coaches. So if you'd like to drink up on that orange and blue Gatorade that I've provided you right here, it would be perfect. Um, we'll move on. To SECsports.com. 1990, the player Steve Spurrier came back as Coach Steve Spurrier. Um, his nickname, the Old Ball Coach. He was there from 1990 to 2001, and during that time, they won SEC, the 10 SEC titles, which included the 1995 season when they went undefeated the first time in collegiate history. The college teams went undefeated, but they made it to the national championship and actually got demolished by Nebraska, 62 to 24. The following year, in 1996, they actually turned it around with uh, Heisman Trophy winner Danny Warfel and won the national championship, their first at the program. And they beat uh, the Florida State Seminoles 52 to 20. The irony of that game is that they lost their only regular season to, during the regular season, was to the Florida State Seminoles. So it kind of made a, a better season for them when they won the national title. 
Um, GatorZone.com, we're going to move into the thousands now with uh, Coach Urban Meyer taking over for Steve Spurrier. 2006-2007, they won their second national title for the program under Chris Lee, quarterback, and Coach Urban Meyer there, as you see in the picture. Um, they beat the Ohio State Buckeyes 41-14 to as the underdogs in the game. The following year wasn't so good. They lost four games, but the beast Tim Tebow came out and won the Heisman Trophy. Um, the following year, Tim Tebow turned the team around in 2008-2009 and took them to the third national title, which I had mentioned earlier um, at the start of the speech. They beat the Oklahoma Sooners 24-14 for their third national title. So I told you a little history about the what made them such a powerhouse with their coaches and players and games. So now I'm going to tell you how, where they're where where they are today. According to GatorZone.com, April 2011, the program built three statues outside the stadium, and to commemorate the three Heisman Trophy winners, Spurrier, Warfold, and Tebow. That's a nice gesture from the program. Um, last season, Vermeer had a bad year and got some bad help. So he stepped down as coach, and Will Muschamp came in as the new coach. Uh, he's a former defensive coordinator out of Texas. He's got a strong resume. He's also brought in Charlie Weiss with 32 years of coaching experience. Some players they look forward to um, will be John Brantley as a quarterback, Deontay Thompson as wide receiver, and running backs Jeffrey Dems and Trey Bird to carry them this season. Um, Gatorzone.com, which is a a schedule here and some games to look forward to is Alabama on October 1st and the defending champs Auburn Tigers on October 15th and of course the interstate battle with uh, Florida State on the 26th of uh, November. So now I've told you a little bit about where they are today so let's do a little recap. Um, we talked about the start of the program, some of the historic facts about the program, coaches and players, and where they are today. So I've given you all the information. Now you can join me in being a great Gator fan. Come back here September 3rd and root on the Gators against Florida. Uh, hopefully they demolish them, Florida Atlantic Owls on September 3rd. Let's go Gators.